in this problem we can use substitution method however the aim in this video is to actually learn graphical method for quadratic functions or equation of a circle we can only apply substitution method or graphical method to apply graphical method we are going to separate the two equations next we are going to choose some range of values here i might decide to choose from let me say minus one to three then here i might repeat the same thing from minus one to three next we are going to draw a table for the two equations and we are going to consider the range of our choosing integers next let's consider the first table y is for x i will have minus one squared minus three for x i will have minus one then plus four minus one squared is one minus one times minus is plus and three times one is three plus four you see one plus three is four four plus four is eight next we are going to input zero into the equation and if we change this to zero we are going to end up getting four so here we have four for x equals one here we are going to get two if you put two here for s equals two you are going to get two lastly if you put three here you are going to get four we are done with table one next let's consider table two here y is x plus one we are going to input that y is minus one plus one minus one plus one is zero so here i will have zero next i will consider zero y is zero plus one and i will have one here my answer is one next i will consider that y is one plus one which is two here my answer is two next if you put two here two plus one is three if you put three here three plus one is four now we have filled our table next we're going to need a graph to plot the tables the both tables will be plotted on the same graph for example if this is going to be our graph this is a quadratic function and here is a positive it means our graph will go like this this is just an example also this is a linear equation hence we're going to have a straight line the straight line cuts the curve on two points you're going to trace the first point to the x axis to get x1 and you trace it to the y axis to get y1 next you're going to trace this to the x axis to get x2 and we're going to trace this to the y axis to get y2 if you do this correctly you're going to get four answers for x1 y1 x2 and y2 because there is a quadratic function in the simultaneous equation to find the values for the simultaneous equation let's plot the graph firstly let's consider table one which is the quadratic equation from equation one when x is minus one y is eight the two points meet here next when x is 0, y is 4. And here is our point. Next, when x is 1, y is 2. And here is the meeting point. Next, when x is 2, y is also 2. Hence, this is the meeting point. 
Next, when x is 3, y is 4. Hence, this is the meeting point. Extend the table to when x is 4, we are going to get that y is 8. Table 1 of equation 1 is a quadratic equation. Hence, we are going to have a quadratic curve, which is a parabola. Now, we have a quadratic curve, which is a parabola. Next, let's consider table 2, which is a linear equation. When x is minus 1, y is 0. When x is 0, y is 1. Next, when x is 1, y is 2. Here, there is a coincidence on this point with table 1. Next, when x is 2, y is 3. And this is the meeting point. Next, when x is 3, y is 4. Another coincidence with table 1. Next, since table 2 is a linear equation, we are going to use a ruler to join all the points with a straight line. Next, the two points where the straight line cuts the quadratic curve becomes the solution to the simultaneous equation. For the first point, we are going to trace it down to the x-axis and you can see that this becomes our x1. We are also going to trace it to the y-axis and this becomes our y1. Subsequently, for the second point, we are going to trace it down to the x-axis and this becomes our x2. Likewise, we are going to trace this to the y-axis and this becomes our y2. After considering where the straight line cuts the curve, this becomes the solution to the simultaneous equation. We have four answers because there is an existing quadratic equation in equation 1, which is from table 1.